Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 59279, Class Bravo. Year 2018, State, Washington. Observed. We moved to Clear Lake, Washington in March 2018. About a week ago, now April 6, 2018, I heard loud vocalizations. One, then silence, and two minutes later, five to seven in a row. The next night, my husband heard loud what he said sounded like tree knocks. That same night, I was in a travel trailer alone in bed when I heard a voice outside the window. Nobody was around, and then the trailer started moving. No wind or anything organic to make it move. We live across the road from a clear-cut logging area, and there are woods all around. We live on a lake and have a creek running through the property. Also noticed, no nighttime noises the times we heard these things, like crickets, owls, or anything. Other witnesses, myself and husband, we were just visiting, the two of us, or in bed. Other stories, no, but growing up I was always sure the hills here had a Bigfoot. Time and conditions, vocalizations around 1 or 2 a.m., tree knock around 11 p.m. or 12 a.m., voice movement of trailer between 2 and 3 a.m., clear nights, no rain or wind, and no night noises like crickets or anything. Environment, live above a lake, creek running through the property, clear-cut logging across the road, and hundreds of acres of woods and trees. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Rob P. I first spoke with these folks by phone only several days after they filed the report and was finally able to match our schedules to meet with them at their residence on May 5th. Their home is located in a sparsely populated area in the western foothills of the Cascade Mountains. It is situated on approximately 2.5 acres that slopes to the south. About one acre of the property is fenced pasture, although no livestock is there at this time. The house was built in 1900 and was vacant for one or two years prior to the purchase late in 2017. The property is bordered by trees to the west, south with a lake beyond that, and east and a two-lane blacktop road and steep hillside to the north that is heavily timbered except for roughly five acres directly across the road from them that has recently been logged and cleared. The nearest neighbor is to the east through timber and brush, approximately 50 yards away. There is a year-around creek that flows through the woods at the east edge of their property. They currently reside in a 24-foot travel trailer in the driveway next to the house that is being remodeled. The trailer is parked lengthwise east to west with the entry door facing north. I spoke to them independently and jointly and both were very clear on what they have experienced and when. The tree knocks and the vocalizations have all emanated from the tall, steep hill to the north of their residence, occurring over several nights and always between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. I played the 1994 Ohio Moaning Howl recorded for them, and they said it was similar, but what they heard was higher pitched. He is usually up late at night and often goes outside for a smoke. On the night of April the 6th, he had walked from the trailer to the creek between 1 and 2 a.m. to smoke. His wife awoke when he exited the trailer. After a few minutes had passed and while he was standing, she heard unintelligible muttering outside and then a hard push or jolt on the north side of the trailer. A little while he returned to the trailer and she inquired as to who he was talking to and why he pushed the trailer. He denied having done any of this and claimed to have been smoking by the creek. 
He showed me the location where he said he had been at the time. It was about 60 yards from the trailer, and the trailer is not visible from that location. The creek flows out of a culvert underneath the road above and has a fall of 8 to 10 feet, making a lot of noise as it hits the rocks and pools below. I checked the records of Pacific Northwest Scenic Network and there were no recorded tremors or quakes in that area or near that time frame. I also checked the National Weather Service data which showed southerly winds at 2 miles per hour at that time. Even if there had been a strong gust of wind, the property sits in the lee of the hill and the trailer would have been unaffected. The trailer stabilizers are firmly in contact with the ground. Unfortunately, if any print had been made on the trailer, it was likely washed off in the very heavy rains between talking to them on the phone and meeting them in person. In my opinion, this couple is credible and not prone to exaggeration. Given the setting and all the facts, I believe they've had an encounter and very possibly heard knocks and vocalizations. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.